I had been sharing a bedroom with my brother, and all I knew were bunk beds and fighting when I was a kid. And I had always envisioned, since it's where I started my day and I would end my day, it would be the coolest thing if I could have a wall of cork. I've always envisioned like a kid just walk in there and I'd be able to pin up goals. I'll be able to see what I wanted to accomplish. Pin up pictures versus not being able to touch the wall. I always thought that would be one of the neatest things I could ever have in the bedroom. So that's the first thing I asked for. I asked my dad if he could make me a wall of cork. Now his first response was, like, we can get you a cork board. And I'm like, no, nah, I'd like a wall of cork. And he asked me why, why well, I shared with him. He's like, we'll see what we can do. So in the time that it was taken to get this, this bedroom done, I had put together my goals. Now I still had junior high to do, high school and college to do. However, the goal that was going to sit at the very top of that wall was going to be, I will play in the National Football League. And I wrote it out just like that. I had some time, so I started thinking, God, my favorite team was the Pittsburgh Steelers. I cut a picture of the, sim, a picture of the Pittsburgh Steelers out. My favorite player was Walter Payton. I found a picture of him. I cut that out. I haven't cut a symbol of the National Football League out, and I was going to decorate that goal. When my room gets done, and I remember walking into it, I'll never forget opening the door, and the wall that I had envisioned being a wall of cork, it was nothing but a big, white, sheetrocked wall. Well, before I got disappointed, I looked at my bed, and my bed is bumped up to the other wall, and there it is. There's this chair rail, and there's three panels of huge of cork. Now, it's not an entire wall, but it's half of a wall. Better than a cork board, not, a, not an entire wall, but it was good enough. Well, I hopped up on that bed, and I pinned up. I will play in the National Football League. I pinned up a picture of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Walter Payton, and a symbol of the National Football League. Now, here is where my first moment of truth happened. And the one great thing about being able to share this message, I can always go back to that exact moment. I can almost draw upon those exact feelings I had at that moment. When I pinned that up, I started to think about all the things people had said to me, how hard it was going to be, the odds. I didn't know it at this time, but 0.02% of high school kids ever play in the NFL. Obviously, there's some validity to those people saying the odds were against me. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Like I said, I've never understood that. In life, it's okay to have more than one basket because if you're going to go after things, you do have to be all in. You have to be committed. And like I said, at age 12 and at age 8, I was smart enough to know the people that said it was impossible, well, they were lying. I've been watching people on television doing it. But the more I thought about those things they said, the more I will play in the National Football League was nothing more than words on a wall. Those things consumed me. And the more I focused on it, the more I started to believe in it. Here's where the first moment of truth ever happened in my life, and I'm grateful for it. Those words, find a way, popped into my head. I remember find a way. Well, I will tell you what resonated with me at that moment. First of all, it completely changed my thought process. I shut all those things out. And the word I always refer to that still resonates with me today, action. I was going to take action. I was going to find out and find a way to accomplish my goal. My first thought process, who can help me? Who's doing it and who's doing it well? Well, it didn't take me long to figure that out. My favorite player is Walter Payton. I'm like, he's got to have, have done something, going to do something that could help me. I've tried, watched Walter Payton play. I've heard him do interviews, but there's got to be something. Now, I'll tell you this. Those words resonated me, with me at such a degree. I had these extra 8 by 10 cards. I got down, and I wrote the words, find a way. I moved all my goals down, an 8 by 10 card, and at the top of that wall for a decade, they would sit there and resonate with me. Because there are many days I walked in that room I didn't win. There are many days I walked into that room discouraged. And every time I looked over there, it resonated action. It inspired me to stay on the journey. 